r slash no sleep posted by you slash dark rocks traveling cross country alone until i see something move in my rear view mirror now janet are you sure you'll be able to make the drive all alone like that my mom asked yeah it's no big deal besides everything is already packed up in my car well i'll see you soon i love you my mom told me with a bit of worry i love you a couple of years ago i moved to new york to start a new life my boyfriend and I were in love and he had a great job here. Things were going absolutely great and I was able to follow my passion of painting. I didn't really need to work but I had some side money delivering food on DoorDash. I first thought I was so lucky, but everything came crashing down. Things were just spiraling down so fast, I got into a car accident, my boyfriend became an asshole, money got tight, and now I have to pick up everything and move back home to my parents in Florida. Hopefully I can start fresh. Maybe I can pick up the pieces and be happy. The back seat and trunk of my old Honda Civic were completely filled with bags and boxes. I'm exhausted, moving of course sucks and my ex was being a dick the entire time. I could barely sleep so I loaded up on energy drinks for the long 17 hour drive to Florida. I was lucky that the weather was nice and sunny. The first couple of hours went by easy, I just turned on my favorite horror podcast and zoned out. Of course the next hour I was careless with the energy drinks and had to use the restroom. It took a bit of time but I was finally able to pull into an exit and get into a gas station. It's your standard gas station, there weren't many people stopping in. I did my business but decided to quickly browse through the snacks. I needed something to munch on to keep me awake. I was browsing through the candies and chips and I glanced to the corner of the ceiling when I saw a little boy quietly sobbing in the aisle behind me. He couldn't be older than 7 or 8, he wore brown cargo shorts and a black hoodie with the hood up. He was crouched down with his head on his knees and his shoulder jolted up and down as he silently cried. I looked around and didn't see any adults around besides me and the guy manning the register. I assumed the little brat was waiting on his parents or something in the bathroom. Not my kid, not my problem. I grabbed my junk foods and was checking out at the register, as the clerk was scanning my items I leaned in a bit and whispered. Hey, you should probably check in on that kid later. He looked at me in confusion what are you talking about, ma'am? I tried to discreetly point to the direction of the aisle where I saw the kid uh, the one crying there. He leaned his head past me and nodded. Huh, ma'am, there's no one there now. He answered. I turned around and sure enough, the place was empty. Maybe the kid had already left with his parents? I didn't give it a second thought, so I paid for my snacks and quickly topped off my gas tank. I drove off and got back on track. After a couple of more hours I started to get a bit sleepy but I couldn't afford to stop anywhere else like a motel. It would be easier to go straight to my parents' house. The faster I drive the faster I'll get there right? This episode of the podcast was extremely interesting and I turned up the volume to immerse myself more into the story. That was when I heard something coming from behind me. It was the sound of something moving behind me. I turned around for a second to see that a bag I had placed on top of another one had just shifted over. I let out a sigh of relief, I can't believe I just scared the shit out of myself. Laughing to myself I continued to listen to someone getting murdered and sipped on another energy drink. A few minutes later I sniffed and smelled something completely rotten and rancid. It came so quickly it really threw me off for a second. Did I run over a skunk or something? I tried to ignore it but the smell got worse and worse and it just increased as I drove. I couldn't take it anymore. I pulled over to the side of the road and started going through my car. I started with the back seat. I rustled through my things and sniffed as I went to find the source or the rot. Nothing. After that I went to my trunk. Right when I opened the trunk door that rotten smell bursted for like I had opened the floodgates. I covered my nose and mouth with my left hand and started going through my stuff. I opened one of the bags that had some clothes in it and I fell backwards onto my ass and screamed. Inside a trash bag I had put a bunch of clothes in, there was a dead bird. Not only was this bird dead, it looked like someone had run it over with their car. I gagged a little as trying to get the carcass out of my bag but, fuck it I just threw the whole bag away to the side of the road. I looked around and noticed I was the only one on the road anyways. Who cares right? I slammed my trunk and looked over at the bag. That motherfucker. I yelled to myself. My ex must have put that in my bags or something to get back at me. I reached for my phone, I wanted to give the guy a piece of my mind and saw that I had no service. Fucking great. No service means I can't call and yell at my ex. But worst of all, I had nothing to listen to. I continued the next hour or so driving in silence and thinking about all that had transpired. What a sick fucking joke. He used to be so nice to me, he would have done anything for me. 
Now he's putting dead birds in my shit. I can't believe what I even saw in that creep. The sun started to creep lower and night began to fall upon my drive. I looked around and I noticed a couple of droplets of water hit my windshield as rain began to crash down. Just my luck it started to storm and I don't do well driving in the rain. Okay, girl, 10 and 2 and keep straight. I spoke to myself as the rain poured onto my car. I kept my eyes glued to the road as the rain obscured my vision even with my windshield wipers on the highest setting. I kept all my focus on the road until, I heard something shifting the bags behind me. What was it? I looked in my rear view mirror and my heart sank. I saw, a small hand underneath the bag. I let out a shriek and I slammed onto my brakes and put the car in park in the middle of the road. I unbuckled my seatbelt and turned around pushing through all of my things. No hand. No one. Nothing. What the hell did I just see? Okay. No more spooky shit for a while. I yelled at myself. I shook myself trying to focus. I need to stay awake. I need to stay focused on this drive. I'm almost there. I'm almost home. I continued my drive, I can't believe I'm letting some scary stories and my ex get to me. I started to laugh to myself. The rain though, was unrelenting as it continued to fall heavily on me. I decided to turn on the radio at least to have some music or something. SHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSHSH